There's uh, two houses, very close to each other. One house family always argue, you know, make a lot of noise. You can hear from the other room. The other side of the house, nobody argue. Everybody very quiet. They live together for quite a long time. One day they meet up in the market. So the argue family ask the, the not, not argue family. They said, what make your family not arguing? Not, nothing hear any noise. We didn't hear any noise. He said, oh, very simple. Your family all are good people. Our family all are bad people. He said, huh? What's that? I don't understand. He said, if anything happened in your family, you know, break a, break a glass, or somebody make the floor dirty, or somebody came, came late to make a noise for the whole family, everybody will think, you know, someone is bad, and you are the good person. So anything mistake, any mistake uh, happen in your house, you only think about, you are a good one, the other is a bad one. So, that's why you have a lot of argument. With our family, just opposite, anything happen, somebody make a mistake, make a noise, straight away somebody says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I make a mistake. So, we all are bad people. We all think about ourselves as a bad people, different from your family. So, somebody already, you know, admit the problem, the mistake. No one will argue with them. For a long time, no one even a border. Everybody to live very peacefully. And then they argue family. Oh, okay, okay. Since then, they start to change a little bit. But look at your, look at ourselves. How many times when we drive, we think about what the idiot drive like that. <laughs> Sometimes we can okay let them. What happened? You can let go, sometimes more easy, less problem. Yeah. That's how the world is getting like that. Everybody's good people. Every time you see somebody have problem, you are good people, I'm bad people. <laughs> that saves a lot of trouble. <clears throat> Two people in a pub drinking. What each other is it? Good friends. He said, my boss doesn't like me, one of the friends, one of the guys said. He said, why? Oh, because and whatever I do, he always you know, pick on me, say I'm not good. So, what should I do? I want a revenge. I want to uh, get back to my boss. And the friend said, what should you do? He said, I think the best way is, uh, the friend is suggesting, the best way is, Try to know everything about a company. Then you can control it. So you can play around with your, your boss. So any secret you should know it. Anything you know. He said, Yeah, good idea, good idea. So from then, he went to the office. Suppose 9 to 5. He went 8 to, eight to 6. He come early than anybody else. He went early than anybody else. And he leave later than everybody else because he want to find out all the problem and from then he start to know everybody and start to find out what's going on what's going on <coughs> try to help other people too he said can i help you to type this letter can i help you to to find a file for you can i help you to do this? so he help everybody so a lot of time become and um, people need help just call him hey come here to help he always help after two years and we told him, told, uh, meet up his friend again. He said, something wrong. What's wrong? He said, my boss liked me so much. <laughs> huh? He said, he gave me better salary I never have. He can, I can have any time day off. I can have a vacation, holiday, whenever, whenever I want. As long as, you know, I stick with the company. He said, I don't know why. Before he hates me so much. Two years change. His friend said, you don't, you don't know that? I don't know. Because before you are a different person. Now you are a very hard work person. Before you are very lazy. <laughs> now you work hard 
Of course, your every boss would like you to change. <laughs> Some words, mm, I'm not that like that. Yeah. It's correct, yeah. So when we do a job, we should, you know, think about this is my job. I should complete it instead of trying to, you know, take advantage of our job. Anything you take advantage, I tell you. Yesterday I said that. Comes around, goes around. You know, every time you breathe in, what's the next? Breathe out. Breathe out. Every time you stretch your arm, you know, you swing your arm forward, what's the next? Swing backward, isn't it? That's how you walk. <laughs> yeah, no one <laughs> must make you swing your arms. Nature is like that. It's, you know, everything is balanced. Just follow the nature. What you should do, you should do. As a mother, be a good mother. As a daughter, be a good daughter. Be a father, yeah. As a father, be a good father. As a teacher, be a good teacher. As a student, be a good student. Don't worry about other people. Look at you, treat you. Then you never have problem. And your problem, even happen, it just come and go. Because you didn't change. Because you did the right things. And nature will test you. Is you, you know, for example, as a mother, so you take care of your, your children, take care of the house, and take care of your husband. As a daughter, respect your take care of your mother, respect your mother, and mother said, clean this clean clean the car, it's good to do it. <laughs> <laughs> because the world is only one person you should love most is your parents. Two person. Think about it. If you can't even love your parents, who else you can love? Big question. I tell you the truth. You know, you are from little baby, they bring you up, brought you up. You can't even take care of your, your parents. What else are you, you know, what else person you can, you can take care of? Don't talk about your boyfriend, husband, and, and girlfriend, and, uh, wife. Because that is the person who take care of you when, you when you come to this world. First things. So, we, no matter what, how bad you think, you know, yeah, you must do a good job. My mom's coming to, to England. Just call me and say, come. Don't, don't worry about it. Just come. Take care of you. So that's how. Of course, they, you know, our parents is, we always, a little bit, you know, something old style, stubborn, and maybe control. I tell you, whatever way, most, you know, percentage, yeah. we're here, the world, we know there's heaven on top of us. And we stand on the earth. We need something above us. Do you know that? Of course, Western think we're free, so we should do whatever we want. And then, and then, you know, so you do everything you want. But do you know that when once you have you make mistake? So usually we go up with we don't like criticism. Yesterday I said 30, after thirty, nobody can tell you what to do. Am I right? <laughs> You're a king, you're a queen. Why? Because the society already tell you you should be the, you choose your choice and do whatever you want. Correct. But you still should have someone above you. You should listen, respect. If you come to a point, you you don't listen to anybody, you know what will happen when you make mistake? Of course, when we make mistakes, someone will criticize us. But because you don't accept any criticism, one day your mistake will be stand on the court. In the court. The judge and the jury jury and the newspaper will go to criticize you. When you have no one above you, you are the number one, am I right? Number one ego god. That's a dangerous you're god. Because you don't need to listen to anybody. You think you're the you you're right. 
And also, you think whatever mistake you make doesn't matter. You equal, you are number one, you equal God, actually. Don't equal God. So, be humble. Save the future. In a, in a, because when you make mistakes, someone has to criticize you, have to tell you wrong. Find someone to tell you wrong. Who, who are those? Who are, who are they? Your parents. Your parents. Your parents, you know, maybe they're stubborn, maybe there's maybe a lot of mistakes. Don't forget, they brought you over here. And you can breathe. You can taste the water. You can see the snow. You can see the sunshine. Otherwise, somewhere else. <laughs> but look at your life, still a lot of good, good things happen in your life because of your parents. So, your parents above you, so no matter what, they have mistakes. You know, they tell you something you think is not right, just try to play a little bit game and then not follow much, but still respect them. You know, they say you need to come to see them. You know, never not, not see your parents, not contact your parents. Parents are like the root of the tree. Once you cut the root, what will happen? Oh, yeah. You, you, know, you have no parents. You can't listen to your parents. You can't respect your parents saying you don't listen to anybody. 